One, two, three. Oh my god. So I know most of my recent videos have been about me hanging out with friends and going out every day But actually my holidays have been insanely busy Apart from internship which really takes up most of my day I'm also working on this project called Orbital So it's actually under the School of Computing It's a module that you can take uh, Basically what it is, it's a software engineering project that you can embark on during the summer holidays And it actually counts as a pass fail module I'm working on a web development project And what I'm building is basically an app for open source If you live on campus, you'll probably know what that is Supper cultures are a very big thing in US And so our app will help in collating orders and and so you don't have to scroll through 100 messages in the telegram chat just full of McDonald's orders. So the first prototype is actually due on Monday. Today is Wednesday, the week before, and I am only, I would say, like 30% done. Have a super long way to go, but anyway, I can show you what the current app looks like. So this is the home page, and when I log in, it currently looks like this. Barely any functionality. Um, the only thing I can do is to create a new opens your... Yup. That's basically all the app can do for now and I'm probably gonna have to hack a ton this whole thing over the weekend because there's really no time. So I've always been receiving questions from incoming students asking how they should prepare for NUS computer science and also uh, some of the things that they should do before coming to CS. And I've pretty much been giving the same advice on Instagram and Reddit. So I thought I should make a video explaining what I did before uni and what I did my first year and also some advice that I have for you guys. So right off the bat, one of the most common questions I get is what programming language should I learn? And frankly, it does not matter. But actually, computer science is a lot about theory. And a lot of these programming languages are based on the same fundamental concepts. So if you see software engineering interviews, they don't actually ask you to code in a specific language. You can use any language you want as long as your algorithm works. So back to the question, what should you learn? As a starter course, I would highly suggest doing Harvard CS50. So personally, I did this course during my weekends in NS. And I felt that what was useful in this course that might not be present in your usual Python or Java courses is that it doesn't just teach you the language, it teaches you what goes on behind the scenes, which is very important for computer science because computer science is not just about programming. Computer science is actually very theoretical and this course goes into the theory of such concepts. And actually for the final project of this course, you get to choose what kind of project you want to do. So they start off with either web development or iOS development or game development. So personally, I chose iOS development. So I don't hide the fact that I'm a very big Apple fan. And obviously, the first thing I wanted to do was to make an app for iPhone, right? That's exactly what I did. So some of you NS guys might actually have seen this app on the App Store. So, and I actually made this app after I ORD during Circuit Breaker when I was bored at home and I didn't have anything else to do. So I would say I spent about uh, three months working on CS50. I did watch some lectures while I was in camp. And for this app, I spent another two to three months building it. To clarify, I had zero coding experience before all of this. The learning curve coming from CS50 to building an app is still quite significant. So I used some Udemy courses just to get me started and a ton of Googling along the way. But yeah, before uni, I made my first iOS app that I published on the App Store. It's still live now, by the way, you can go download it. So I felt that creating this app was what allowed me to get most of my opportunities so far in year one as well as in summer. Because by working on your own project, it really shows that you're passionate about software development and that you're also someone who's willing to learn, willing to pick up skills on your own. So I'm currently editing the video, but what I forgot to say is that yeah, realistically, no mod is gonna teach you how to code a website or how to code an app. And most of this has to be from your own learning. The ultimate message is that grades are not the most important. The willingness to learn is. Uh, so I would highly recommend working on one of your own projects before you come to uni or during your first year in uni, if you have time for that. So if you're still listening at this point, actually after I made this app, um, I managed to join this club called Developer Student Club. The selection process was actually quite intense, but uh, because I made this app, I actually managed to get in and for the past year, we've been working on a web development project for a non-profit organization. And so I thought that was really meaningful. So it was this project under DSC that allowed me to get my internship in year one. Because many software companies do require you to have some web development or app making experience. And I felt that was what really pushed me forward. And just a word of advice, you shouldn't treat a software development project as a task, but more of a hobby and try to find the enjoyment out of it out of creating something on your own. Because that's what I think will really drive you towards like picking up new skills in the future and really enjoying the process of software development. And personally, something I really enjoy is to be able to create something out of nothing. So that's the whole reason I enjoy making YouTube videos and I enjoy creating apps because I'm really building something for myself to feel proud of. So if you have any more questions, you can leave it down in the comments and I'll try to respond to all of them. And now it's time to go back to our usual VK vlogs. Where it began I can't begin to know it 
But then I know it's growing strong. They got nothing on you. Not, 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 nothing on you, babe. So it's actually Milton's birthday yesterday, but uh, we decided to come and celebrate by coming to the Star Wars exhibition. Because he's a pretty big Star Wars fan. Yeah, I wouldn't consider myself the bigger Star Wars fan. Like, I only watched the nine movies. Uh, I know some people who like go all the way to watch the Clone Wars. Um, series and stuff like that. That's not even the biggest. Most like you need to know the comics, you know. They need to know the law. They need to know how they retcon the law because they messed up. Press it again, the maximum in your journey is an adventure into identity. The biggest are the best. Oh God, everyone, comment now. Comment the truth. It's true. Stop hating just because you think it gives you a personality. Is that like a Jaja Binks? Hey, do your best Jaja Binks impression. Oh, Misa, Losa, Fisa is a big sea monster. Wasn't the spring out of the strings? The spring became the summer. Would have believed you'd come. Guys, this is insane. This is the real like Jabba the Hutt eyes. And apparently, there are only a few pieces of the puppet left. And then here's just Jabba the Hutt chilling. So, this is the actual model of the Star Destroyer. They sell the Mandalorian for show collection deal. This is so cool. And then the inside, it's a bunch of baby Yodas. Holy shit, I need this. Okay, thank you. Okay, by the way, live hacks, right? If you didn't know about Liho's $2 student promo, yes, they don't really advertise it, but if you ask them and just show your student card, you can like a green milk tea with pearls and everything for just $2. Like I'm a sim for Liho now. Why do I pay $4 for Koi when I can get $2 Liho? So it's the first few days after the heightened alert was lifted. I'm waiting for Joseph Sinning and Wei Shan, who Joseph is actually driving over right now. And we are heading to West Coast Park to have a picnic. Hello. Hello. Hey, happy birthday. Oh my god. The funny thing is actually. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite songs. You should try coding to this song. Like just put it on, put this song on loop, then you just code. Like you can go for hours. At first we don't even know this song. We do not play yeah. so much. Like I watch zero anime. I don't actually like anime, but then this song is just. <laughs> hey, have you learned the dance? Oh my god, I was learning, 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 learning just now. Learning. Just now, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo <-hoo>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these aunties. <laughs> Try the McDonald's too. So this is a review of the Lotus Biscoff ice cream. It's just vanilla ice cream. What do you mean? That's the Biscoff one Don't buy this, just buy vanilla ice cream. Now that Wishan uses a squat toilet facing the wall. Can you not expose my <laughs> <laughs> I don't really feel comfortable about the whole world knowing about this. So comment down below what's the right way to squat. Is it facing the door or facing the wall? Your knees come together, your knees. What? So you bend lower, you fall down backwards. No, no, your ass, your ass. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, the zipline was like one of my favorite things to play as a kid. And like, I remember my dad pushing me, it was really damn fun. Guys, can y'all push me? <laughs> yes! Woohoo! We did even push her. You just stuck. I feel like you shouldn't hold it. At least not on your first try. Do you want us to push you? You need to lift off your leg though. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three! <laughs> oh my god! She gets <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
reminds me of the IMM playground. If anyone remembers, like I remember going, my parents dropping me off at the I playground. Remember. Then they'll I'll go they'll go to the Daiso or the Best Tanky no, to I'll shop. Go for tuition. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot hang on that long. Eh. My hand pain. Eh. Your hand pain. Eh. Really? So most of the buses back from West Coast Park have stopped. So we had to resort to walking back to USB. <laughs> we are currently somewhere in the middle of NUS. I believe this is Engine. Yeah. Let me check. 1241. Yeah. Have any of y'all walked in NUS at night before? It's low key creepy. And then the problem with NUS is that, yes, so many hills. So yeah. I feel like we're just like climbing up and down and up and down. Anyway, it's my last night staying in USB. I'm gonna be moving back home tomorrow. Sad. I just yeah. moved in today. <laughs> so sad. Should we go inside and explore? We are near like LT17 and the lights are on, so. Is it open? Oh, the icon. Oh. Holy shit, man. Wow. wow, this place is actually insane. It looks so nice. Study here all, all night long. <laughs> Why are you studying? Why do you want to study now? <laughs> Looks like there are people studying here overnight. Yeah, are charger and laptop are still here. There was someone using the lab at this hour. That's ridiculous. It's the summer holidays at 1am. <laughs> oh it's a water cooler. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Shit. We have made it back to U Town finally. Yeah, US. Yes, we are going to the U Town NTUC to get some breakfast slash supper. Hey, do you think there'll be people studying at ERC? Wow, there's actually someone there, guys. We've been living in U Town for a year, and this is the first time I've seen the NTUC close. Wait, why? What the? Why is it closed? Okay. So we came to the auto box instead. It's like this uh, automated supermarket, so at least they will never close. You yeah, put your stuff here and then it automatically detects your order. They're holding both things. 